Have you ever wondered why your internet speed is slower sometimes and faster others? Let's start with the basics to better understand what could be causing the appearance of a speed slowdown. Internet speed is how fast data can travel to a single device connected to your network. Bandwidth is the total amount of data that can travel through your network to multiple devices at one time. Think of speed and bandwidth as cars on a highway. All vehicles, or data, travel at a fixed speed down a single lane road. One car can travel from point A to point B at maximum speed. If you increase the traffic on that road, things slow down. If you have a wider road, essentially more lanes, more cars can travel and things speed up. Let's say a one lane road is equal to one megabyte per second of data speed. If you're trying to download an image that is five megabytes in size, it would take you five seconds to download that image on a one megabyte per second bandwidth. Now let's say you're trying to download that same image with a bandwidth of five megabytes per second. Essentially, you'd be using a five lane highway. It would now take you just one second to get your image. What if you're using multiple devices on your network? Think of it like driving in rush hour traffic as opposed to off-peak traffic times. The more traffic on the road, the slower you go, or in this case, the slower you're able to download data. It's only with less traffic or by having a wider road that you can increase your travel speed. The same is true for data traveling across an internet connection. Either you need to limit how much data you're attempting to send and receive, in other words, limit the number of devices that are connected, as well as limit what those devices are doing, or you will need to increase the road size, the bandwidth size, that your data is traveling across. What factors can affect your internet speed? The number of connected devices. As with a congested highway, the more vehicles traveling on the road, the slower you go. It's the same with your bandwidth. If you have five devices, with each one running multiple applications, all of them pulling from the same minimal internet source, then you will begin to experience a data backup resulting in buffering, long wait times, and freezing. What types of connected devices can affect your network and cause the appearance of slower speeds? Cell phones and tablets for starters. Mobile devices continually search for updates even when you're not actually using them. That background activity requires bandwidth. Gaming devices like PlayStation, Xbox, and Wii can also continually use bandwidth if left connected to the internet. Video and TV streaming devices like smart TVs, DVD players, Roku boxes, and Amazon Fire systems can also continually use bandwidth even if you're not actually watching TV. And of course, any connected desktop or laptop computers will have an impact. What speeds are recommended for certain online activities? When it comes to video and TV streaming, to get the best results, Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu need a minimum of 5 megabytes per second of internet speed. They want a dedicated 5 megabytes of bandwidth that is not being shared with any other device or application to ensure that you don't experience buffering or freezing. These streaming applications are beginning to require increased bandwidth speeds due to more and more movies being displayed in HD. When running remote access applications like TeamViewer, Remote Utilities or Ultra VNC, you will need more bandwidth. It is recommended to have a minimum of 6 megabytes per second to run TeamViewer without any other application sharing that bandwidth. TeamViewer's running ability will also be affected by the internet speed on the other end. If the PC you are remoting into has a slow connection, you will experience lag on your end too. What other factors can have a negative impact on your internet experience? The signal strength of your Wi-Fi can make a huge difference when downloading or streaming. A weak Wi-Fi signal due to distance from the router or physical obstructions like walls or furniture can reduce the signal and slow the flow of data. A weak Wi-Fi signal can also occur due to the materials used to construct your house. Steel sidings and IFC walls often have a negative impact. The age of your device can have an impact. Older devices with outdated software and hardware components do not properly connect to newer routers that operate with newer technology. Devices that are infected with viruses can also cause the appearance of slower speeds. To determine your actual internet speed, you will need to take all of these things into consideration. Keep in mind, when it comes to troubleshooting internet issues, every single household is different. If you're experiencing internet issues, go through the following checklist. One. How many devices are running on your network? 2. What is each device attempting to do? 3. Try using another device to see if the problem is the network or just that device. 4. Move your Wi-Fi connected device closer to the router to see if the signal strength or speed increases. 5. 
Run a speed test using speedtest.net or speakeasy.net forward slash speed test on multiple devices to determine if it's your device or the actual internet connection. You can find a quick link to speedtest.net at the bottom of the SciTech website. Our goal at SciTech is to provide excellent internet service. If you've tried all the troubleshooting methods in the checklist and still feel your internet is running slower than it should, please call our offices at 320-573-1390 or send an email to SciTech at SciTechCom.com so we can know about it. If we don't know there's a problem, we can't fix it. SciTech, we never forget we're working for you.